Did she do it? Oh, you didn't practice that even? So she really was really amazing with y'all today. I, I have to stop, because you all, this you just deserve. <laughs> you are really, it is fabulous. All right, how Raven freed the moon. Raven is a sister. She never uses force. She uses her wits and her manners, and sometimes she outsmarts herself. <coughs> Raven is often good, sometimes bad. Raven is always beautiful. Above all else, Raven loves beautiful things, especially bright <coughs> things. One day, Raven heard the people talking about an old fisherman and his daughter who lived on an island far to the north. They had a round, bright, shiny thing they called moon that they kept in the beautiful called Cedar Box, locked away from those who might want to steal it. Raven wanted the moon. Raven flew all day in the bright sunlight, heading north. She flew over the rivers and streams, over the mountains and valleys, over the trees and beaches, searching for the old fisherman and his daughter, searching for the round, bright, shiny moon. Raven flew all day <coughs> through the darkness. In the sky, there were only pinpoints of light as the stars tried to light her way. Finally, just when Raven thought she was too tired to go any further, she arrived at the house of the fisherman and his daughter. <coughs> um, quickly, Raven used her magic. She turned um, herself into a lovely <laughs> baby, baby girl. Way down by the door began to cry.
So once again, she tucked the beautiful little baby girl into her bed, kissed her goodnight, and went back to her own bed to get some, try to get some sleep. But no sooner had she pulled up the covers and closed her eyes than the baby, Raven, began to cry again. Before the fisherman could even ask what was wrong, the dado was out of bed and over to the baby. She took the baby's toes, she smiled, she sang, she tied everything she knew, and that baby cried. Oh, for heaven's sake, this has got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? She has eaten, she is warm and dry, and she still cries and cries and cries. Maybe we should find something for her to play with. At this, the baby who was a poor raven laughed happily and reached her arm for the hard wooden box. Oh no, baby, you mustn't touch that. At that, the baby opened her lovely little mouth, took a very deep breath, and roared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! What's that? She wants the card box in which we keep, you know, well, she can have that. It's no point for a baby. The baby. <coughs> the baby howled louder. She stopped. She bailed. Wow! Wow! A wow! I can't stand any more of this. Let her at least look at the box, but she mustn't hold it herself. She'll drop it. Yes, father. The daughter got the beautiful cartier box and put it where the baby could see it. Here, <laughs> Don't touch it, baby. You may look at it, but you mustn't touch it. The baby, who was a coarse raven, lay on her side, staring at the box, making soft, happy noises. The soft, happy noises made the daughter very sleepy. She yawned and yawned and rubbed her eyes and tried to stay awake, but she fell asleep. The baby, who was of course Billy Raven, crawled over to the cow, see the box, and carefully lifted the lid. Inside, a piece of soft waterfall lay moved. The baby reached out. She took um, the moon in her hand and gazed at its beauty. She knew she wanted to keep to keep moon. The bright light from the moon shone into the face of the old fisherman in the wake of him. That's no baby, that's Raven. Mm -hmm. Raven? And sure enough, there in their little house was Raven holding him under one large black Get the moon. I'll catch her. But of course she did. The old fisherman and his daughter chased Raven around the house, knocking over the water, tripping over each other, getting more and more angry and upset. Ka, ka, ka. You can't catch me. Ka, ka, ka. And Raven put Boot in her beak and flew up the smoke hole in the roof. Ka, ka, ka. It's mine, all mine. Raven flew south toward her home with Moon in her beak through the night which was blended by the moon in her beak. And no longer pitch black, Raven flew swiftly over trees and meadows, rivers and streams. But Moon is not a pebble on the beach. Moon is not a huckle there. Moon is very large and very heavy. Soon Raven could no longer fly with Moon in the beach. She was too tired. She was so tired, she almost dropped Moon into the ocean waves. Raven knew she would never make it over the mountains with Moon in her beach. So Raven tossed the moon up, up, up into the sky as high as um, she could and moon caught on the corner of a cloud. So high did moon go and so brightly did it up, light up and light up the sky that the old fisherman and his dad started um, in their land for Look, look, up there in the sky. It's our moon, but look at it.